I only have to think about the movement and I can start and stop, like stop now. These small steps open a new chapter in medical technology. Gert Jan was paralyzed in a cycling accident 12 years ago. He was told he would never walk again. I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. I, I, I stay on the back. But for the first time, doctors have bridged the damaged spinal cord with wireless digital implants that turn his thoughts into action with life-changing results. I promised my father to, uh, to walk again. Uh, now, yeah, I don't know if I promised it, but I told him I will walk again. And uh, with his last birthday, I, I went uh, with the walker to the birthday party. So uh, it was a big uh, surprise for my father to see me without a wheelchair. The device has two parts. In the brain, implants are placed over the regions controlling movement. Then in a backpack, a computer powered with artificial intelligence decodes brain signals generated when Gert Jan thinks about a particular movement and sends an instruction wirelessly to a second device implanted in his lower back, bridging the damage to the spinal cord in his neck. It sends electrical impulses through the nerves to coordinate the leg muscles and allow him to walk. Yeah, we believe this is a real breakthrough here. Mm -hmm. It's not controlling robots. It's really reconnecting two regions of the central nervous system that are disconnected. This is like the true digital revolution in terms mm -hmm. of prosthetics. You know, it's a completely new dogma that is starting with, the, of course, a proof of principle, only one patient, but it shows us that it's not science fiction anymore and that a new era for these people and new hope can be given to people with a spinal cord injury. The Swiss team is preparing to roll out the technology to other patients with spinal injuries and perhaps then those paralysed by stroke. But one UK charity warned against raising false hope. These breakthroughs are really exciting but also tempered with um, how few people this has been used in so far and how far down the line it might take to, to actually be be useful to, for the whole population, of which there are thousands of us in the UK at the moment that need support in a whole variety of ways. But take nothing away from the technology. The thoughts of a paralysed man, his intent to walk, can now be turned into deliberate steps.